Okay, so after finding connectors and plastic pipe in the GR valve itself, I'm stumped by that. So we'll cast that aside. That's probably why mine's broken. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to test this EGR valve. Now, in order to test the plunger, you need to put power to the two little terminals in there. So if you've got a battery kicking around, a 12 volt battery, all you need to do is take your battery, uh, carefully put one connector on one, one wire on the other, and touch it and it'll go click. And you'll see there's two, like, 2P or 5P, old, old 5P size discs in here. You'll actually see them open and close. Click, click, like that. So that's really it. Now this doesn't look too dirty. I don't know if those pieces of metal have caused any damage inside, where it, so it's not closing properly. I've got no idea, but as I say, I've got a new one coming anyway, so I'm just going to put that straight on. Um, and that's it, so that's how you test a solenoid. So if you think that your EGR is not working, that's what you do, connect to there. Okay, like I said, I don't have a very extensive um, garage for all parts so what I do have in the shed I've got some of this garden wire um, that you put around tomato plants and stuff like that so because it's rubber coated I'm going to bear three inch or so off one end and I'm just going to bear a tiny amount off the other very small say five mil or ten mil at the very very most and just trim that back like that and I'm going to do that on both of them. Yeah, just like that. that's all I'm going to do. And then, on your battery, I'm going to wrap one around the positive side of things. I need to be a little bit more bared off on there. Okay, so this is something you can do yourself at home, just to test the solenoid. So we've got one there, which is now on the negative terminal. And then I'm going to get the other one on the positive terminal. A bit more up there, just see? And that's it. So that's what we've got. So we've got one on the negative, one on the positive. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Right. Let me just give that a bit tighter. Yeah. Taking care they don't touch together, what you want to do is very very carefully so you can see what you're doing put one to one side there and touch that connector like that a bit fiddly but it'll do it and then one to this side and listen for the click and that's what goes in and are we on yeah we're on there that's it open closed open closed ideally what you want is you want somebody to do that for you while you just watch in there and you'll see on this particular EGR valve that the two discs will pop down to be open let exhaust gases through and up to be closed. And that's how you test a solenoid on an EGR. Okay, so the actual EGR cooler part, I don't think that's too dirty. It clearly looks black, but I don't think it's blocked or clogged. I can clearly see through there. So if I can hold that at, at the angle, you can see all the way through there. And each one of those are two individual tubes that go all the way to the other end. Now you won't see past the outer ones because there's a shroud at the other end so you won't see that but all of them others you can clearly see all the way through and I don't think it's blocked.